Hi there, everybody. My name is Teresa Bacola, and I want to explain that a number of us here in California are getting repeatedly arrested for standing on beaches. We weren't committing any crimes. We just disobeyed the arbitrary whims of politicians regarding when we can be in nature and when we will be punished for enjoying it. Our mommies and daddies in Santa Cruz, along with the enforcement arm of their park rangers, have decided that we, the people, must obey a curfew. And that curfew is 10 o'clock, and if you are caught lingering at 10.15, you will be immediately handcuffed, have your person searched, be carted off to a jail overnight, and be charged with a crime, as in my case in Carmel, entering a disaster area, and in Twin Lakes, Santa Cruz, for violating posted hours. The California park rangers will even walk around during the day, invade your family's intimate space, and start reaching into your bags looking for alcohol. If they find an open bottle, they will pour it out on the sand. They are so arrogant and self-righteous about using violence against peaceful people for the crime of standing on a beach that it turns your stomach. They've even come up with a name for us, which is the Freedom Fire Group that I think is totally rad. <laughs> we, we didn't come up with it, um, but that's because we don't do as we're told and we like being free. But the true meaning of freedom in that we risk arrest and rebel against the state when they are clearly violating our rights, which come from the creator of the universe and not the government. Here in Carmel, uh, for the 4th of July weekend in 2020, you know the weekend we celebrate our liberation from tyranny. Our city administrator, Chip Rarig, conspired with the chief of police, Paul Tomasi, to threaten the people that if we were caught swimming, surfing, or playing water sports in the ocean, or if you went for a walk on the beach, you would be jailed, fined, and charged with entering a disaster area. I tried to talk Rarig out of it a week prior, as well as Officer Greg Johnson, who is one of the officers that wound up arresting me. So when I went down to the beach that day on July 3rd, I had no intention of doing what it is that I wound up doing, but I what I saw, I could not believe. So. They had erected steel barricades at the parking lot. 13 members were walking around barking orders uh, to stay off the beach. Police tape had been stretched all the way, uh, all the way along the entire length of the beach. And one police vehicle patrolled the water's edge like this was Nazi Germany, having successfully cleared the sand of any people other than police officers. So. I went out there again to disobey the dictates of the parasite class because the beaches, the forests, the waterfalls, and the clouds are all gifts from God. And I was watching a theft in progress. So I was handcuffed, searched repeatedly, and dragged to a dungeon 30 miles away and dumped out into an industrial area at three o'clock in the morning and had to get a $100 cab ride back to my car. They tried it again, the exact same thing on Labor Day a few months later, but this time we made them stand down with a single sheet of paper that was called the Notice of Violation. So if you go to my channel, the video is called Labor Day. When we marched out onto the beach and called to all those waiting behind the police tape to come join us, which they did, and it was epic. So I went to the police department about six months later to get the body camera footage of the first arrest. And I was attacked again by the same police officer, Joe Boucher, who had arrested me the first time, and his accomplice, Gerald Maldonado, who threw me to the ground because I wouldn't produce ID or sign their citation for a supposed warrant. But most of the warrants issued in this country are not warrants at all, but rather instruments of human trafficking. I've been doing a lot of work in this area. So I was slammed against the wall inside the building as well. They stole my purse, which they still have. And I was dragged to the same dungeon 30 miles away where I was to remain until the following morning. So a few months after that, I went on the war path and have been taking the scalps of tyrants ever since, including the chief of police at that department, Paul Tomasi, who is now a security guard at the aquarium. Uh, I've gotten really good at being able to use their own codes and words against them. And I filed a whopper of a lawsuit in June, uh, Title 42, Section 1983 for deprivation of rights, which all stemmed from the theft of our beach. 
I, I don't I don't have enough time here to tell everyone about the devastating effect my friends and I have been having against tyranny in Santa Cruz and Monterey County. But at the risk of sounding grandiose, we are making history here. And I hope you want to become a part of it because I feel like we're all characters in a myth. I'm not kidding. I'm looking forward to teaching people this method so we can take our country back after I'm done with the lawsuit. So as far as that's concerned, I uh, have to do depositions, hire court stenographers, transcripts, uh, pardon me, uh, uh, purchase transcripts, hire expert witnesses, et cetera. And this is going to require considerable resources. So I'm going to ask you to donate to my Give, Send, Go page. Support Teresa and her fight for justice. There you can see a picture of me with Officer Boucher just digging into my pockets. And, you know, the, the intention is so that we can teach tyrants a painful lesson that there are consequences for trying to take our land away from us. And those consequences come in the form of loss of their jobs, their pensions, their standing in the community, and their pride. And then what will happen is that word will spread and other police departments and sheriff's deputies and park rangers will know that the people aren't going to let them take another inch from us. So please hit the like button, share if you think the content is valuable. So you can, uh, you can also go to my Facebook page where I give lots of live streams. They're basically classes on how to use their own words and codes against them and help me to uh, get through to depositions and the lawsuit and, uh, you know, come and be a part of this myth with us. So thanks everybody. God bless you. And I'll see you soon. Freedom reigns.